Also tonight, a Western New York community now in mourning, mourning the loss of a man who was killed in a car crash over the weekend near Lake Placid. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps is learning more tonight about this deadly accident, and she shows us how this man is being remembered here at home. Oh, everybody is horrified by it. They're very grief stricken because like I said, there wasn't a racer at the track that didn't admire and genuinely like Kevin. People describe Kevin Morris as a true gentleman and family man. One of his hobbies was drag racing. Not only was he willing to help every other racer, he would literally give them whatever he had so that their car would run. And I think he was genuinely happy for the winner, whether it was him or his opponent. Police say Kevin and his family were driving near Lake Placid Saturday morning when they got into a head-on car accident. His wife Heather and daughters Sierra and Ashley were sent to hospitals with injuries, but Kevin passed away. He was 50 years old. Drag race director Sharon Hughes says she knew him for more than 30 years. I would think that all the racers at the track would agree how friendly he was. And like I said, he was always willing to help people. The Morris family lives on Grand Island. Sierra is a teacher at Island Kids Daycare, which is holding a fundraiser for the family on August 29th. Another fundraiser for the Morris family will be held here at the Lancaster National Dragway on Friday, August 23rd. The racers are a very close-knit family, and I'm hoping they're going to be very generous uh, in their donations. We're going to have a raffle as well as accept donations for his family to help with their medical expenses. In the meantime, police say they are still investigating the incident. In Buffalo, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.